All right, now it's time for us to make our own experiment that we can eat. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be making our own icky marshmallows. First thing you're going to need is some hot water, just about half a cup. Pour it into any mixing bowl you can find. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our gelatin powder and we're going to mix this in evenly. Now, keep stirring with this. I want to make sure it's evenly distributed for best results. Now once we have this totally in, we're going to let it sit for about an hour. So we'll just put it aside and we'll move on to our second half, which is right over here. What you're going to do while this is sitting, is you're going to take a little bit of cornstarch and you're just going to dust lightly over top of a cookie sheet. Just like that. Now for this part, you want to make sure you have a grown-up's help because the stove can be kind of dangerous at times. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to take your two cups of sugar and you're going to pour it into your saucepan. Next, you're going to take your one cup of corn syrup and you're going to pour that in. Now, turn the stove onto low and you're going to stir this up and you're going to bring it to a boil. Once it's gotten to a boil, all you have to do is cover it and let it sit for about three minutes. Now, after that's done, it should be boiling for about three minutes and we take it off. Now, if you take your candy thermometer here, just stick it in, just like this. The ideal temperature is 250 degrees Fahrenheit. So wait till it gets to there and that part's done. Now that our mixture has reached the correct temperature, we're ready to mix it with our gluten. My helper and I have already poured our sticky mixture over the gelatin mix, and now we're mixing it with an electric mixer. We'll keep mixing for about 10 minutes. Now, we'll slowly add the vanilla and mix that in too. Now we've blended for about 10 minutes and as you can see, it's an icky gooey mess. What we're going to do is we're going to take this cookie sheet, which we dusted with cornstarch before, and we're going to put a little bit on our spoon as well. Now, this will make sure that it doesn't stick everywhere. Now if we take big glops of this and dump it on our cookie sheet, here we have our icky gooey mess. Now, what we've done is we've created not only a good sugary treat, but we've created kind of a chain of polymers. Now polymers are molecules all together in a Lasky chain, just like that. 